Praise the Lord. Welcome to another edition of Touch of Healing. I'm Pastor Daniel. Today I'm just going to be sharing a short word from the scriptures. And I do believe that the anointing of God is present upon me and coming through this program to bring healing to every manner of sickness and disease. It is your first time joining us in Touch of Healing. Get ready for a miracle. Maybe somebody forwarded this video to you. I do believe God orchestrated this divine experience, this divine encounter, so that you may be healed. And if you have been watching some of our other videos, I just want to encourage you again to listen. The Bible says faith comes by hearing and hearing by the Word of God. Today I'm going to be talking about the walk of God, the walk of God or the works of God. You can make it plural, singular. Now I'm reading from St. John chapter number 6. The Bible says here, he was talking about someone who came to Jesus to address him. And the Bible says here in verse 20, uh, 26, he said, Then they said to him, What shall we do that we may do the works of God? And Jesus answered and said unto them, this is the work of God, that ye may believe on him whom he has sent. This is 28 and 29, St. John chapter number 6. So somebody had come to Jesus and said, What can I do that I may do the works of God? Jesus said unto him, This, singular, is the work of God, that you believe in him whom he has sent. So what Jesus was saying here is that the most important thing, short, the only thing that you need, is to believe in him whom he has sent. Now some of you say, well, is that work? How is it hard to believe? Well, because today, just like in the days of Jesus, there were many things that comes against the word of God. Too many things that tries to point that the word of God is not working. And one of such things is sickness and disease. The Bible says that Jesus himself bore all our sickness and our disease on his body on the cross. Uh, but when a man is sick and he has symptoms, one of the things the symptoms they seem to be saying to him is, the word of God is not true. You are not healed. Look at your body. You're sick. You're sick. You're going to die. But the Bible says that if you can only believe, Mark chapter number 9, uh, verse 23, it said, if you can only believe, all things are possible to him that believes. So if you are expecting a miracle, maybe you're watching this, like I said, uh, at the beginning, and you're sick in your body. All you need to do is to believe God's word. Believe. Believe in your heart. Agree. And then be ready to respond that to the word that the Bible says that Jesus came because God so loved you. And he gave Jesus his only begotten son that you, if you will believe in him, should not perish. You should not die of sickness. You should not die of sin. You should not be oppressed, but have everlasting life. The word there is Ionius Zoe, or Zoe, meaning the kind of life that God has. And that life has no sickness, no disease, no poverty, no oppression. I know he says, but is it so simple? Yeah. That's why the Bible says in Isaiah 53, See, who hath believed our report, and to whom is the arm of the Lord revealed? So if you can believe, and I know you can, because the Bible says that as you're hearing God's word, God is giving unto you the ability to believe, because faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God, which means that if you are suffering from any manner of sickness and disease, maybe terminal, maybe, you know, something that was inherited, or it may even be a simple sick sickness, like headache or back pain or an eye problem, but whatever it is, Jesus himself bore it on his body on the cross that by his stripes, you were healed. So the only work left for you to receive your healing is to believe. Wow, that's so simple and yet so profound. So you say, how do I believe? I'll tell you, receive the word of God as I'm sharing it to, with you now. You can go back and look at it. Look at John 3:16. The Bible says, for God so loved the word that he gave his only begotten son, that whoever believes in him should not perish, not die of sickness or disease or go to hell, but have everlasting life. Read the whole of Isaiah 53. The Bible says he was wounded for our transgression. He was bruised for our iniquity. The chastisement of our peace was laid upon him, and with his stripes we are healed. 1 Peter 2.24, the Bible says the same thing. He said, by his stripes, you were healed. You were healed. And if you read these things, meditate on it. I mean, think about it. 
see yourself being healed see jesus taking away your sickness and your disease and then begin to say to yourself i believe i'm healed i receive my healing thank you jesus for healing me i receive my healing no more sickness no more pain as you are saying those things the bible says you take thoughts in your heart the word of god will also take hold of you and cause you to align your life to god's word now, faith requires corresponding action, which means that you now have to begin to act like you have been healed. Do what you couldn't do before. I know people are waiting, if I'm healed, then I would do what I couldn't do before. If I can't see, how can I start seeing when I can't see? Well, you can open your eyes and try to focus on something. Once you start doing that corresponding action, this is the work of God, to believe. Believing is an action word. And as you believe it and act upon it, you will discover that you have been healed. Maybe you were lame, you couldn't walk. Uh, get yourself up, get someone to help you up or pull yourself up, put your feet on the floor and begin to say, I believe I'm healed. I receive my healing in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. So that is different from saying, oh God, please heal me. Please heal me. When are you going to heal me? Oh, heal me now. Now, if you're asking him to heal you, it means you have not believed that he has healed you. So after we pray, which we're going to do in a few minutes, you want to believe that you are healed. Even when you don't see this, the change, even when you don't see the miracle, because you believe the Bible says that is the work. Believing means you don't feel it, you don't see it, you can't touch it with your senses, but you receive it, you agree, and you begin to act like it. So that is the work of faith. If you can believe it, the Bible says all things are possible. Then you begin to see that the condition has changed, that you have actually been healed. And so if you are believing God for healing, maybe people have prayed for you many times and you're waiting to be healed so that you can act like you're healed. Now you're getting the, 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 the cart before the horse. The Bible says you believe first. The work is to believe. Jesus has done the great work of taking your sickness and disease and nailing it upon the cross. But now you need to believe it and act like that. And if you start acting like you're healed, you discover that you were, were actually healed, that you have been healed. So faith is an action word. Faith means to act upon the word of God because you believe. That is the work of a believer. So until you begin to act upon it, until you begin to act like someone who believes, you have not believed. No, I know your mind is going to come against you. How are you trying to hurt yourself? Trying to stand up when you can't walk? Trying to see when you can't see? Trying to, uh, to, to get up and do things like a healed person when you still feel pain? But by the stripes of Jesus, you were healed. So I'm going to pray with you in a few minutes and you want to stretch your hands towards the screen or anywhere you're watching this from and believe God for healing. Father, we thank you in the name of Jesus for the anointing that is coming through this program, ministering to everyone who is watching or hearing this. I come against every manner of sickness and disease. I say, Satan, take your hand off in the name of Jesus. Be healed from the crown of your head to the soles of your feet. I command you to be healed in your ear, be healed in your, in your eyes, be healed in your feet, be healed in every part of your body in the name of Jesus. Satan, lose your hold right now. And I, I, I command you to begin to amend in every part of your body in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Just begin to give God thanks. The anointing of God is upon you and you will never ever be sick again in that ailment because Jesus has set you free in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Father, we give you thanks. We rejoice for that which you have done. We declare that the healing is done, is complete and it will never come back in Jesus' name. Amen. Again, I'm Pastor Daniel. Uh, uh, the numbers and the information will be showing on your screen. Please uh, com communicate with us. Let us know. Share your testimony with us. Or also share this video with somebody else who needs a miracle. And I do believe that they will be healed as well. Don't forget, this is the work of God to believe. I believe that you believe and you receive your miracle today. Until I see you again in another edition of Touch of Healing, I'm Pastor Daniel. Have a blessed day and stay well in Jesus' name.